Whoa, what a week. What a week. <laughs> In the NFL, let me tell you, we're one third of the way through the season. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Let me tell you, I have no idea what's going on. Let's start on Thursday where the Bucks beat the Eagles. Now, seems like the Bucks got bailed out by a penalty late in this game. I don't know why. You know, I don't know why ref ball is just you know that bad, but it is that bad. I mean, we you, you go across the pond on Sunday morning and you find out. You know, you wake up, you find out that the Jags have won a game off a field goal like Tua. He threw some bad passes in this game, especially that horrid interception at one point in the game. I'm just you know, like, how? How? We got Urban Meyer winning a game after all of this nonsense that has happened to the Jags over the past few months. Jags won a game. You gotta be. Dolphins gotta be kicking themselves in the foot right now. I mean, Vikings Panthers was insane. We had missed kicks. We had a punt. We had a punt block return for a touchdown. I mean, Donald was seeing ghosts again. Everything came together in in the crazy game in which you know the Vikings were clutch. You know, big time catch by Thielen too late. My goodness, man. Um, Ravens charges though. I was expecting this game to be a barn burner. It was not. It was not. I was not. Oh, I, 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 I genuinely don't know what was going on here. We're talking about Brandon Stacy or whatever the coach's name is for uh, the L.A. Chargers. Like Staley or something. Brandon Staley, Stacy Staley, whatever his name is, I forgot already. He went for it twice inside his own thirty. Both times they failed. Herbert looked lost out there. That defense especially looked lost. Like, I was watching this game, and before the Ravens went up 27-6 to at one point, which is when I decided to turn it off, you know, they were just pounding. The, they were just pounding the charges. The Ravens were pounding the charges in the run game. I was like, is, is, is the charges going to stop anybody? I mean, you, you know, you got one of the bosses there, you know. Do something. And they couldn't do anything. Charges couldn't do anything out there. Like, we got... Like I don't know, I don't know, man. Like, like the Rams, you know, they still look dominant. I mean, a no look pass by Matt Stafford at one point. You know, I didn't even look at it until just this afternoon. I was like, wait, Stafford threw a no look pass? I mean, it, it was against the Giants, though. The Giants have, you know, just they're just awful. Like there were so many turnovers by the Giants in this game. I mean, Danny, Danny Dimes, you know. He's not tossing up dimes. He's cooking up some apple turnovers. Cooking up some apple turnovers. A lot of them in this game. That's what happened in that game. Colts, big time win. T.Y. Hilton came back. I was very surprised. You know, I, I forgot he was even injured. I mean, it's the, it's the Texans. The Texans aren't a good team to be watching at all. I mean, yeah, it was rough. I mean, at least Jonathan Taylor went off, you know. Definitely, definitely good stuff right there. Chiefs was struggling with Washington for like two quarters. And, you know, I'm looking at the final score again, you know, only what, 31 to 13? It didn't feel like 31 to 13 for a while. I mean, so many turnovers, Tariq, you know, Tariq Hill's been dropping passes. You know, all, all the Chiefs receivers have been dropping passes and stuff like that throughout the entire season. So, and like, I don't, I don't know what's wrong with the Chiefs. Like, they get out, like, they get out of Washington with the win, but it doesn't feel like 31 to 13. It didn't feel like domination because, I mean, again, Chiefs were down at one point. You know, I think. And the Packers, well, Aaron Rodgers said he owns the Bears. I mean, I, I don't blame him. He's he's owned the Bears for years. I don't I don't blame I don't blame this man. Like this was this was a poorly officiated game as well, but I mean, you know, at the end of it all, you know, the Packers still, you know, they still did what they need to do with Adams and Aaron Jones and you know, Rodgers playing well. I mean don't get me wrong, you know, the Bears kept it close, especially early on with Quinn and, and, and Kalumak, you know, playing really, I mean, they played really good, but I mean, again, the offense for the Bears just couldn't do enough at the end. I mean, that's just the limitations of Justin Fields, you know, right now. 
Bengals took care of the Lions pretty easily. Now the Lions are the only team left without a win in this young season so far. It's like, where, where are the Lions going to find a win? God, golly, got to find one somewhere. Raiders, they don't have, they don't have Chucky, John Rudin anymore. By the way, that new Chucky show is good. Um, I watched that, you know, I watched that on Thursday night. That was good stuff right there, that first episode. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. So how did the Raiders do after the whole Rudin controversy? They did well. You know, they took care of the Broncos. I don't know if I'm going to watch the Broncos Thursday night. I mean, the Broncos are, you know, now they're exposed for who they are. You know, Teddy Bridgewater is not going to not gonna move the needle for anybody, but I mean, the Broncos can still play. They still play, they still play pretty tough against the Ra uh, or against the Raiders. Though they still play pretty tough. Cardinals Browns. I was expecting this game to be a lot better than what it was, but did you got you got this defense for the Cardinals just harassing Baker Mayfield. This man looked lost out there. He looked like he was back into you know like that Baker Mayfield of old. You know, like his first couple seasons in the NFL. I mean, he looked lost out there. I mean, I, mean, I think Odell got hurt at one point. I know Jarvis Landry was hurt, but I think he might have come back. Um, I mean, the Browns were just, it, it was just a horrible game for the Browns. Like, the defense could not stop Kyler Murray. Every time, it felt like everybody, you know, and again, those wide receivers, I mean, D-Hop, Christian Kirk, you know, A.J. Green, I mean, I mean man. So many weapons for the Cardinals on offense and defense. So many weapons. I mean, there was just so many big plays made by these Cardinals. You know, and they they cement themselves as you know a team that that they they don't look unstoppable. You know, we 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 can't say that because this is not college football. This is not you know that's not a narrative that we could say. But this team looks damn good. This Cardinals team, damn good. I'm glad they're undefeated still. I'm glad they're still unbeaten. I mean, you know, man, the power of the air raid really is showing them now. The power of that air raid offense is really showing. Them. I don't know why. Let me talk about this Cowboys Patriots game here. I don't know why this game was close. This game shouldn't have been close. Mike McCarthy, we've said it all year long. We've said it since 2020, you know, that he's an idiot. But, he, man, I, I, I'm, I'm perplexed. I was perplexed that this game was even close. I'm perplexed this game went even went to overtime. Why is Mac Jones looking like Tom Brady out here? You know, throwing precision passes. Throw, you know, at least, at least Trubon Diggs was, you know, happy to, you know, take a pick six back after, you know, that was before Mac Jones decided to throw like a 70-something yard touchdown bomb. Uh, unbelievable. Unbelievable stuff. Like, the Patriots looked terrible out there for most of this game. It should not have been as close as it should have been for the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, glad the Cowboys get to go into the bye week. You know, they're 5-1 and one now. Five straight wins for the Cowboys. Glad they get to go into the bye week. Defense, you know, you know, at times, you know, this defense, you know, likes to, you know, not do what they need to be doing out there. I mean, this is a textbook example. You know, I don't, I don't know if it's on Mike McCarthy. I don't know if it's on Dan Quinn or anything like that. But this is a textbook example of, you know, of like Pittsburgh Steeler type stuff. And speaking of the Steelers, man, this game was rough. I, I tell you, I don't think I watched this game last night. I did not watch the Steelers and the Seahawks at all. Last night, I mean, this game, you know, had a massive injury late in which the Steelers fans were apparently, you know, just doing doing petty type stuff that is not necessary and not in good sportsmanship. Apparently, that's what happened. And I mean, the Seahawks, you know, they 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 somehow played, you know, all right. I mean, but again, the Steelers got the victory, of course, you know, at the end of the day. And I mean. It's, it's been a rough season for the Seahawks, especially on defense. Oh, my goodness, defense last night was getting exposed. And I mean, you know, Big Ben, he hasn't played the best this year. So the fact of the matter, you know, that, that the Seahawks are just ex getting exposed on defense like this, like this is not the same Seahawks defense that we've seen before. I mean, my goodness. Like Jamal Adams. What? 
Can you play defense, bro? Like, I'm not, I'm like, like, bro, what's going on out here? Like, like, this just doesn't make any sense. This does not make any sense at all. Like, Geno Smith ain't even, he ain't even did that bad out there. I mean, he threw, he was, what, 23-32? You know, 209? You know, not bad. Not bad at all. The rest of this defense, however, you know, was just rough. I mean, I'm going to look at the stats here for, you know, Steelers here real quick. I mean, again, Steelers, not even that bad. Not even that bad. I mean, you know, Ben Roethlisberger still threw it 40 times, you know, like an idiot. Like an idiot should, but at least Najee Harris, you know, was, you know, finally got some running going. Stuff like that. Uh, so like, I don't, I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's wrong with the Seahawks. Like, this has been a disaster for the Seahawks. Like, I thought, I thought the NFC West was gonna be better than this, and here we are already. You know, it's the Rams, the Cards, and then the NFC West just looking. The rest of the NFC West looking kind of pitiful. You know, the way they've been playing and the way things have gone for them. And Bills Titans just ended. My God, Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry is a beast, a king. 76 yard TD run at one point. You know, another TD run. He had three touchdowns in this game. There were so many lead changes. I forgot. I lost count. And the Titans were able to pull it away. Jeff Simmons with a big stop on Josh Allen at the end. Of course, you know, hashtag NFL coaches because the Bills should have kicked the field goal. That yeah, way we could have gotten overtime. That's okay. That's okay, though. It's okay. Bills now four and two. Titans are four and two. Resilient win, you know, because I mean the Bills were just exposing this Titans defense. Like they were picking on um, Bayard back there. They were picking on Bayard, you know, for the Titans. He's not, I'm not sure what position he plays, you know, because I don't keep up with everybody. But I don't keep up with everybody and everybody's position. But they were just picking on this guy all night. They were picking on these DBs all night. I mean. Diggs especially, like Diggs was open so many times, you know, you had, you know, you had, everybody was eating for the Bills tonight, everybody was eating, Josh Allen had like 350 yards passing, everybody was eating, everybody was eating, but at the very end, you know, the Titans were able to buckle down, get a stop when they needed to, again, you know, dumb decision, you know, to just go for it like that and call a QB run right up the gut. Stupid play call. It's 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 gonna be a 99 times out of 10. You know, a run right up the gut is going to be a failure. You know, on a fourth down. Like, have you not learned from Madden, Sean McDermott? Have you not learned, man. My goodness, what a week. What a week of NFL football. What a week, man. I I I don't even know. I don't even know what to say anymore. I don't even know what to say. I do know. I do know this though. It's gonna be, it's gonna be wild. Let's see what Week Seven has in store for us as I, you know, try and look and see at the schedule for Week Seven. It's not gonna be a lot. I'll tell you that much right now. It's not gonna be as interesting as it was last week because I mean all the big games are stuck early, and I don't think you know maybe the NFL will flex something. I don't know. I don't think they are. So I think I'm gonna take Sunday, Sunday night and Monday night off next week. You know, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, 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 let's do this, guys. Let's do this. You know, week six is over. We can stop talking about it now. Let's go on to week seven, and let's do this. I'll see you all on Thursday for that. Take care, everybody.